Hello there! This is Logan McLeod and I'm here to suggest a new feature for Source Filmmaker. I figured what better way to do that than to make an entirely new map in Half-Life 2. Um, and there's a reason for this. It's because the feature I want to request is available in all Source Engine games, it's just not spawnable. And that is a new light entity called a Light Dynamic. In Source Filmmaker, we can only spawn one light type, and that's projected textures, which for the most part are great. They cast shadows, you know, they can do all kinds of cool stuff, but they're limited in, term, in, terms, in terms of what Source can do um, for special lighting cases like light warps and half Lambert lighting. And over here, this was a projected texture by the way, I wasn't sure if I made that clear. Over here is a light dynamic entity which is also significantly cheaper than a projected texture entity. Um, so I have a frame rate counter on the top. I'm not sure if it'll change because of fraps, but if I just turn it off, no, it doesn't change. But when, I, when I'm not recording, it actually halves the frame rate when I um, turn it on versus this, which doesn't actually change the frame rate at all. So it's significantly cheaper, and unlike projected textures, they can be omnidirectional. Um, of course, one of the problems is they don't cast shadows, but I'm going to demonstrate, you know, some of the other usefulness of it beyond shadows. It's more for stylization purposes, which is why I want to use it. So I have these stands here, and I have some um, materials already set up with um, s certain kinds of shaders on them with certain uh, lighting types. So here you have a standard source engine texture thing which is just a diffuse albedo with a um, with a bump map and of course you know what this looks like under projected texture um, and it looks exactly the same under you like my gumball machine by the way this didn't take long to make it was just fun um, which looks exactly the same under a light dynamic entity Let's just show that off real quick yep there you go exactly the same um, so of course that's not significant the only actual real change is that this actually casts shadows and that entity doesn't so you might be thinking okay well why do I want it then why wouldn't I want shadows well I can give up set shadows for certain light cases such as check this out Notice anything different about these two? Besides the um, besides the highlight there? The shading is a little bit different. That's because Fong activates a special lighting term known as Half Lambert Lighting. And Half Lambert Lighting changes the... Um, I think it's called the lighting curve? I'm not sure. But it basically makes it look much smoother. Now, of course, this isn't fi this isn't physically accurate, but it looks nicer. It has a nice um, it almost looks like ambient light and or very broad light source. But notice what happens when I put it under a projected texture. It looks it looks the same. Um, hmm. Let's spawn another one. And would you look at that? It's nice and smooth. But if I bring it under the projected texture light. It's not smooth at all. It's just, you know, it's just normal shading. It cast shadows is nice, but that's just because of the nature of projected textures. They're, you know, they're not real lights. They're not real point lights, rather. They just, um, they project a texture, and it gets cold and all that stuff. But if I put it under this light dynamic entity, it's all smooth. Now, isn't that something? Um, and just to prove that these are in fact the same, I can just do this, you know. It's just the light entity is affecting it differently. So, probably right now you're probably thinking um, of a few different uses you could have for that kind of lighting in Source Filmmaker. Well, I'm just getting started. So, let's go back to the Fong real quick. Now, you'll notice that under the projected texture, it doesn't have half Lambert. 
Not that it really matters because for materials in Source Filmmaker you can disable half Lambert for Fong materials. But it's still nice to have um, half Lambert for Fong or just in general because you get this nice smooth lighting. Like I said before, it's not physically accurate, but it just looks nicer sometimes in some special cases, like to make it look more like an ambient light, a much bigger light source. And there's also a second case of um, where um, lighting is important here, or how lighting is changed by these two different entities. And that's with light warps, which you can see on TF2 characters, for example. Here's a so here's a custom light warp here on this, which looks very cartoony, like the TF2 characters. And of course, we all know what this looks like in TF2. Um, in most game, most Source Engine games, it's all, you know, cartoony. And of course, if you use Source Filmmaker, this you'll notice that projected textures they don't have light warps. Again, I think that's just the nature of projected textures, but. Suddenly, it's like a completely different, you know, a completely different skin, but they're exactly the same. That's kind of incredible, honestly. Um, and I can I can see using these in combination to get um, special lighting effects, but since we so. The projected texture, not the projected texture, the light dynamic entities work kind of like compiled lights in Hammer, in that, you know, they affect the light warp and stuff. Of course, the problem is, you know, not everyone in the source community is a mapper like me, and so they can't just, you know, compile a map when they want specific lighting, they can't change it on the fly, and that also means they can't animate it as well, which can be really, really challenging and means they'd have to probably even make multiple maps, multiple map areas, and it's just a big waste of time um, when they could just be animating or something. And um, it'd be nice to just have this entity just spawnable, um, this dynamic entity spawnable so it can just work. You can animate it. Um, I'm just gonna prove real quick that this isn't actually um, pre-compiled lights. You can have up to three compiled lights, custom lights on a surface, and so I just made multiple, made it change colors, just to prove that it, um, it's the same, the same light, the same light, just dynamic. And it's much, much cheaper than projected textures. So that'll also reduce compile times for uh, scene builds. Though, um, let me actually demonstrate real quick what I mean by um, ambient light. You see how it's all soft, and you know here it's sharp. So I have a little room over here that um, projects two lights. These are pre-compiled, by the way, onto a red wall and a blue wall. And look at the ball, actually. It's um, it's got this really smooth um, ambient lighting on it, which you can't really replicate that well with projected textures, just because even even with your um, radius sliders turned up. Just because it's um, because it's all um, sharp like that, but it's much easier like this and much less expensive, so you can get better results cheaper just by having this entity spawnable. Um, I'm not sure how you would do that. I'm not sure like maybe just make a separate light entity dialog that comes up. Maybe have it so you turn the projected texture into a, into a different light. But even with um, shadows disabled on projected textures, it's still far more expensive than this light dynamic entity. So I've demonstrated that. Let's take a look at my um, my big uh, dance room over here. Not that good over there. Um, so if you look closely, these are all brushes, right? Um, let me just turn this off, actually. So you get these, um, you can see the light maps on brushes, so that's that's one of the disadvantages of, uh, of uh, light dynamic entities. But with these, these are three light dynamic entities, and they're both, and they're all three of them are om omnidirectional. And it honestly doesn't look that bad. It looks, you know, 
just like ambient lights and stuff. Um, I actually have these set up on a moving train so that they rotate around um, a little figure eight area. Well, like a figure eight, a very square figure eight. Very polygonal, I mean. So most people in the Source Filmmaker community actually do scene building. And so to light up their scenes, they either have to have a, a map that has pre-compiled lighting or they have to light the entire thing with projected textures, which eats up a ton of memory and makes their renders really slow. But what if you could spawn one of these in a scene build instead? So here's a little... Um, this entire area is made of models. You can see it has Fong. I made this really quickly with the material just to show off that it is, in fact, um, uh, real, I guess. Um, sorry about this. So you've got this, um, this is what it would look like for a scene build. You have these, you know, very broad light sources that can be omnidirectional, so it's much easier to light a whole area. Like, this is a single, single, um, light source. And it looks like it's, um, reflecting and everything, and it's, it reflects the ceiling, the floor, the walls. And it's just a single light source, and it's a really cheap light source at that. Just to prove that it's not pre-compiled, I'm going to change some of the color. Um, that basically concludes it. I was hoping I could make this a little bit more interesting, but basically Valve, I would really like to be able to spawn a light dynamic entity um, there's a couple animations I want to make that are more stylized, um, that use uh, light warps, and uh, since light warps don't work under projected textures, um, that's going to be incredibly difficult, maybe impossible even, but incredibly easy under um, under a simple light dynamic entity. prove that it is in fact omnidirectional. Spin it around there. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, this, this gumball machine was kind of fun to make. Fun little shadows. So if you guys agree that you should that you want to see this feature in uh, Source Filmmaker, um, try to get it try to like show this video around. Try to get it Valve's attention. Because um, I would really like to be able to spawn a light dynamic and I think a lot of people in the Source Filmmaker community um, could use an entity like this and just have um, these big scene builds that are easily lit with these um, light dynamic with these really cheap light dynamic entities so they don't have to spend a thousand hours um, rendering a scene build with that just uses a bunch of projected textures versus like say an hour um, yeah, so share this around um, with SFM people, maybe even non-SFM people, just to just to kind of get this, keep this going. Um, source community in general, I guess. Try to get this into the right people at Valve, just so I can get a response. I've actually tried to contact them a few times, but I, maybe I'm not contacting them right or something. I've been emailing the uh, SFM. Uh, help, not SFM help, the SFM team email, and there's, I haven't gotten any responses, and, um, so I'm not sure why that is, but if you could just maybe help me out, spread this around, that'd be great, and I hope to get at least a response saying that maybe they can't do it, maybe it would be too hard to implement that entity, um, uh, I've seen it being used in Hammer versus projected textures, and they're actually a little bit simpler than projected textures. I guess, um, I guess that concludes this video. So I'll just show off this material I made. 
Um, all right then, see you later. Just uh, quickly amending this video here, I realized I should show off every single um, case of these with the ambient lights and also do some real world examples with uh, say Alex from Half-Life 2 and uh, maybe some TF2 characters in the big dance room over there. And I'll end the video with that. Um, see ya!